Hi, so it's me again. I uh, wanted to make this video because uh, I run into my, I run myself into the trouble of uh, having to map some uh, MIDI signal received uh, from uh, my keyboard to my computer. So a signal that I receive on my computer, and um, the issue is that I couldn't map it within the software that uh, I wanted to use the key in. So what I've been doing. I use the small software which is called um, MIDI Ox, which I present and uh, I explain how to install and, and configure it um, in another video that I will link in this very video. Once you've installed it and configured it, then <coughs> you want to use this software. It's called Luby One. It's free for uh, non-commercial use. And uh, okay, it's limited because they have also another uh, pay version, so to say, which is even better, which you can configure more. But uh, this one is already doing what I need it to do. So it's... it's uh, and I will, you will see, it's very useful. So um, actually I won't be able to show you, but normally when you launch it, when you install it, then you can launch it. Once it's started, then it just creates a MIDI interface on your computer which you can use in order to s to receive uh, some uh, signal and send it back to another application. It will be seen by other applications on a specific channel. So, for instance, here, I uh, installed this, so you go to this address. I will also put it in the in the video, in the comment. You can go to this address and, uh, and uh, then download the software. To download the software, you go to the download page, download, and then you have the Windows XP Vista 7, 8, 64 bits, blah blah blah. Uh, here it's for uh, IP MIDI, but for loop B1, sorry, so loop B1 is here. So it's not very difficult. So once you have installed it. It's very simple, I won't show you, it's just an interface. It, it's launched and you don't have to do anything in there. What you have to configure is here, in MIDI AUX. So the software I was talking about, which is actually also in uh, another video. I explained in another video how to use it. Once you are there, you want to go to Data Mapping. Options data mapping. Once you are there, you have to create a filter. What I did here, well it's a filter, Let, let's call it a filter, but I don't know, a mapping filter, so to say. A mapping rule, it should be a mapping rule, better, yeah. So you edit it, and uh, you see, so this is for instance what's received. To know what's received, actually, wait, let me come back first. To know what's received, you can open uh, the input, which is here. Uh, you remember from my other video, input here. So you can see, for instance, if I'm using the keyboard, which I configured here, but I, I won't go back again, I'm just showing quickly, you have to say that it's uh, it should appear in the input panel. Once you've done that, then you see it's channel 1. Channel 1. So, you go there. You go there, data mapping on my rule, for instance here. And for, for me, what I wanted to map in my case was uh, the volume pedal that I wanted to map as an expression pedal. Um, you can find many lists of um, uh, MIDI control numbers and whatever on the internet. I won't go through it, maybe I will put a link also under the video. Um, I will just tell you that the volume pedal is for instance 7 and which is why I've choose here to put 7. It's also the maximum. This is my input. You see, this line is the input. If you don't want to do anything, then you can use this. Pass original value on, but I don't see the point, otherwise you wouldn't make a mapping. Huh? I don't see really the point. So, what you want to do is select the channel. We've seen it's channel 1 in the input. So I want to use the input from channel 1 to say it's controller and for volume, you can use also tons of other stuffs. It can be a key, it can be whatever you want. I don't know all these. Uh, check out the documentation of uh, of Mediox for it. No idea. Well, I would just wanted to use 
uh, control, but you can use also not on or not off. For instance, not on would be then which note on the keyboard you want to map to another note. It's not very important. You can do anything you want in there. So what I've been doing is that I've been choosing on channel one the controller, which is uh, number seven, so CC seven, and I want to send it on the same channel. I can send it on the same channel or which I say match input so basically it's just taking this per default or I can send it to another channel it might be that the software needs me to send this information on another channel in that case I will just use the same channel and I want it to use channel 11 minus 1 being by the way uh, it's not even considered so you don't need it if you leave minus 1 and it won't, won't nothing won't happen so this these informations are actually not interesting it's more interesting if you have for instance a range if you have a range of keys on your keyboard that you want to map then you will want to use these but in my case i don't need them because it's only for a controller so i just put 11 11 and then it's mapping any input which is received from my pedal to the other pedal by doing this when you've done that you it's important you have to click this turn map on after okay so once you've created this rule you want to click there to make sure it's checked and then you click OK and then you will see in the MIDI port activity if for instance I start pressing any key then you will see there is a signal there is a signal coming here on channel 1 and it's also output in the output of channel 2 and if I use another software then I will be able to tell it hey um, I have a, I have a, a software which is a MIDI interface called uh, Luby internal MIDI it's on channel 1 use this signal please and if I select this signal here instead of the input of my uh, keyboard then I will receive the channel which is mapped which is pretty cool because it's, it's what I wanted to achieve probably many people can run into the same trouble many people will not find a way out of it and uh, I must say it was really a pain to find this way <coughs> so once you've done that then you, you are able to map any kind of mini signal you want um, and be able to change the channel just you need to have uh, this loop B1 installed because if you don't if you just translate it here without an output then uh, I mean it will be mapped but nothing will happen and you won't be able to see this interface on uh, on your uh, on your software while you're using this MIDI signal for instance if you're using contact or if you're using Cube Cubase or whatever you're using then you want to use um, this MIDI channel loop B internal MIDI so check this channel use it and you will see it's just great I thank you for watching if you have questions uh, feel free to comment the video uh, I might answer really quickly usually I do <laughs> I wish you a nice day bye